Okay, in this video we're going to uh, look at the area of a regular octagon, but this time we're going to be given the radius uh, instead of side length. Uh, just to refresh your brain a little bit, uh, the radius of a regular polygon goes from the center to one of the vertices, or a better way to think about it is it's the radius of the circumscribed circle. Okay, so in this case, let's use a specific example first. And so let's say the radius of this one is four. Um, and so that gets us this nice isosceles triangle. So clearly um, that can be a good thing. Now, if you were to draw in the rest of the radii to these vertices, you would discover that not only do you have one isosceles triangle, you have eight isosceles triangles, and they are all identical. And so if I can find the area of one, I just multiply that by eight, and that gets me the area of the entire polygon. The other thing rec uh, recognizing the eight uh, congruent triangles does is it allows us to find the angle uh, of the vertex of the isosceles triangle. Uh, there are eight of these angles here and um, if you divide they are make up a circle so if you divide 360 by 8 because there's eight of them you find out that this angle is 45 degrees. And if you've done enough geometry, that might be something that gets you a little bit excited because we know a lot about 45 degree angles. They teach it. There's all kinds of things that go along with 45 degree angles. The best thing we know is if we actually have a right triangle that involves a 45 degree angle. So a good idea would be to draw in that right, uh, right angle, allowing us to have a right triangle. That is also a good idea because if you now notice IC is the base of the triangle we're trying to find the area of, and then my new um, height, that new right angle I just drew in, is the height. And so I know the area of this one triangle is going to be one half times the base, which is four, and then I just need to find that height. Well, conveniently, I know the hypotenuse, and in a 45, 45, 90 degree triangle, we divide by root two, and four divided by root two, when you simplify it, becomes two root two. So the area of this just becomes 4 root 2. So that triangle has area 4 root 2. Multiply that by 8, and you get 32 root 2. So this nice, convenient technique, which I would call dropping an altitude from point D, is a great way to find the area of an octagon. You can actually use the same technique in finding the area of a uh, dodecagon, except your um, middle angle there is going to be 30 degrees instead of uh, 45. Alright, let's just quickly um, also consider this in the general case, meaning uh, where this is R and this is R. We'll apply the exact same principle we just did, drawing in that right angle. The only thing that's different is it's not quite as clean, um, so I'm going to uh, end up dividing R by root 2 to find that height, which when you simplify gives you R root 2 over 2. So that means the area of my triangle is one half times the base, which is the radius here, times the height, which I calculated to be r um, root two over two, which equals r squared root two over four. Now, very conveniently, you multiply that by eight, the denominator cancels, leaves you with two, and you get this very clean and easy formula for the area of an octagon given the radius, and that is 2r squared root 2. It's a very, very nice formula, very useful, allows you to find a lot of things. Uh, you can get very creative uh, by knowing this formula and then knowing the formula for the area of a si the uh, area of an octagon given a side length, and you can find out um, some connections between the radius and the side.